Okay friends, today's tutorial is on the helix. Here it is. That's the move. That's real fast. I'm going to do it. I'll do it like a slow motion, fast motion one. That's it. Here is a slow mo. All right, so this move, as you can see, it's three rollovers. So it's vaguely similar to the behind the eight ball, but it's a little bit different. It is a Y2K rollover, a index, open, zero G chaplain, and then a thumb, a Zen rollover at the end. Um, so the, basically the only trick you need to know for this one is the Zen rollover. So if you don't know that, you should definitely learn that. You need to know that. Uh, that's going to be in the description. All right, so let's get right into it. So this move, it starts off in the Y2K grip. You can do this one holding either the bite handle or the safe handle. The classic is done with the bite handle, so that's how we're gonna hold it. Anyways, grab the bite handle, maybe three quarters of the way down, and what you're gonna do is you are going to do a Y2K rollover. So you're gonna do a roll around your thumb. So you're gonna fling out the safe handle, the knife is going to spin around your thumb. The catch is a little bit different. You're going to catch the knife with your bottom three fingers and have your index finger pointed outwards like that. So, once again, you are going to start with the bite handle. You're going to do a Y2K rollover. And you're going to catch the knife with your bottom three fingers here and your index finger out like that. So once you can do that, you master that. Usually this 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 first move is done is done horizontally, not vertically. So it's a it's a horizontal roll around your thumb, and you catch with your three fingers. So I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, that was two fingers. There you go. Three fingers. You catch. Your index is out. Once you've got that down, the next roll, all you're going to do, you're going to put your index finger in front of the safe handle, and you're going to turn your palm downwards. And what that's going to do is it's going to cause a spin to happen. So, for example, like if you catch like this, you hold the knife like this with your index in front, and you just turn your palm down, you can see that the handle will naturally start to spin around. So you can use that momentum for the next roll. So once again, from the start, Y2K grip, holding the bite handle. You're going to do a Y2K around your thumb, and you're going to catch with just your last three fingers, your index is out. You're going to put your index in front. You're going to turn your palm down, and that's going to cause the knife to spin around your index finger like this. Now, just as the knife hits here, you are going to release with all of your fingers, and the knife is going to do one half rotation, and you're going to catch the safe handle underneath. So, to recap, right, you do a Y2K, catch with your three fingers, index in front, so you're holding the safe handle, it's going to spin around and you're going to catch the safe handle but the safe handle is pointing the other way if that makes any sense um, so the catch is quite important the way I like to catch it is you do the spin comes around your finger I catch with in this position here basically so if you can just try and mimic this position here where my index it's spinning around my index right and my thumb comes in and it touches my index right along it there. So it's not just like touching like this. I like to do a little bit of a cross like that. So you wind up in this position. So to recap from the start, right, you do a Y2K, catch with your three fingers, index in front, palm down, the knife's going to spin around your index finger. Your thumb is going to get inserted and go right alongside your index finger. So you wind up in this position right here. Now, from this position, what you're going to do is you're just going to do a thumb roll. This The ending is actually very similar to the behind the eight ball. So if you are having trouble with that, you can learn you can learn that there. But anyways, you're going to catch it in this position here. So what you can do to practice this end thing is you can just start right from this position. So get in this position. So you see my index finger is kind of wrapped around here on the safe handle. My thumb is lying right over top like that. My three fingers are out. What you're going to do, you are going to the knife, the, say the bite handle is hanging down. You're going to turn your palm down. You're going to pinch with your thumb. 
you're going to extend your index finger, you're going to turn your fingers up, and that's going to cause the knife to spin around your thumb. And you're going to do a zen rollover at the end. So that's the trick that you have to know beforehand, the zen rollover. Anyways, let me go over that one more time really quickly. So, start holding the bite handle. You're going to do a Y2K rollover. You're going to catch with just your bottom three fingers. Index goes in front. You do a spin and you catch the safe handle. You're going to, when you catch the safe handle, you catch it in this position here. So my index is underneath the safe handle. My thumb is alongside my index. They're touching. So my two fingers are touching. My three fingers are out. And then from here, I'm going to turn my palm down. I'm going to release with my three fingers. I'm going to extend my index finger and just pinch here. I'm going to turn my palm up. I'm going to do the roll. Basically, what you should do is you should get into this position here and you should just be able to do a Zen rollover just like that. So find this position and follow those three steps to get into a Zen rollover. Now, so that's just the basic rolls. Um, you'll also notice when most people do this trick, it is a it has a very certain high, low, high motion. So you see it starts high, goes low, and then comes high again. That's very important. So usually what happens is you start high, relatively, anyways, you start relatively high with the Zen rollover. You do the Zen rollover and you go low for this spin here. That, the reason for that is so that way you can get your, it starts high for no reason really, but you do the roll and then it, you, you move your hand low so that way your wrist is out of the way, right? Because if you do it up here, right, your wrist is kind of in the way and it doesn't really work. So anyway, so you start the roll, you do your Y2K high, you move low, index in front, you do this, you do the, um, the roll around your index finger, and then as the roll is happening, you move it back to high again. So what that looks like, right? So you do this roll, you go low, you do the spin, and then it comes back high again. And that's so you can get your thumb underneath. So you see, you touch and then you move your hand up and that'll allow you to do that final rollover. So the first roll is high, second roll is going from low to high, and the third row, roll is going from high to low. So yeah, high to low, low to high, high to low. That was another thing that I just did that is kind of cool. So that's the whole trick. Basically this one, you should practice each roll individually, so you should be good at doing the Y2K, good at doing the second one, and then good at doing the third one. Practice each roll individually, if you can get all three rolls, it's pretty easy to put them together. Um, yeah, and then high, low, high. Those are the two main tips. Okay, so another neat thing you can do with this is the move is infinitely repeatable. So you can do it just back to back to back to back, and I'll show you how that looks. Uh, so you do a one, sorry. You do one roll, and then two, and then three, and then you get the gist, right? You can just repeat it over and over and over again, which is kind of cool. Um, so the way that works, right? So you do the helix, and then for the final roll happens, so you're doing the zen rollover, and what you do is as the zen rollover happens, right? So you're, gonna, you're about to catch it. You just stick your index finger in between the handles, It'll spin around your index finger, and then you do another thumb roll. And then you do the thumb roll, you stick your index finger in between the handles, and you do a thumb roll. So basically you do a thumb roll, index in front, around, thumb roll, index in front, around, thumb roll, index in front, around. You get the gist, right? So you can just repeat this over and over again, so that's cool. Okay, so one last cool thing is the fact that this move is the best for switching handles in this pen grip. So if you have the pen grip in with the bite handle like this and you want to switch to having the pen grip in the safe handle, uh, this move is the best way to do that. So if you have the bite handle, so I'm holding the bite handle right now, you do a helix and then you do an index rollover, you wind up with the other handle, right? So now I have the safe handle. So it's just a really great way if you're like, if you have the bite handle, you're like, dang, I wish I had the safe handle right now, right? You just do a helix, you do an index rollover, and bam, you got the other handle now. So that's a, it's a great way to do that. All right, hope you like this one. Thanks for watching. Uh, peace.